This is Eugene Panarukovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo 11e Chromebook with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Lenovo 11e Chromebook. Okay, this particular model is used mostly for schools, as you can see in the EDU series on the label. And uh, where you can find the model number is 11E Chromebook down here. This is the only place that shows the model number for this laptop. Uh, before we start, there's the second thing we have to verify is that the laptop is turned off. Uh, for this model, the on-off switch is on the side, so it's not as easy to accidentally turn on. But it does turn on if you open and close this laptop. So before you start the procedure, make sure that the indicator light on the on-off switch is not on. If it is on, do a long press of this button. Press it down for about three seconds and the laptop won't turn off. Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to show you the tools we're gonna to need for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers, and that's to manipulate cables, remove any screws that may be stuck, and also can be used as a prying tool. And finally, we have a hobby knife, or an X-Acto knife, and that's to lift up screw covers and to lift up adhesive cape tape. So let's get started. The first order of business is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic cover around the screen. In order to remove the screen bezel, first we have to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some plastic covers. So we're going to start with removing the plastic covers. We use our hobby knife to lift up the plastic covers, and what we have to do is put them right beside the screw opening so I don't lose them. And also we're going to do that for this side here. And once again, put them next to the screw opening. Next, we're going to use our screwdriver to remove the two screws. There's one, and there's, this one's a little bit tougher, there's two. Now for each set of screws, for each step, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them, and that helps me keep track of which screws go where when I put the laptop back together. Once you remove the screws, we can snap the screen bezel off. In order to do that, we'll put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and find a place where we can get a grip on the bezel and gently push upward and outward and you'll hear some snapping sounds. So in this matter, we go all the way around the screen pushing upward and outward. And if we get stuck at a certain point, we just go keep going and come back to that place later because it will be easier to remove that later. And same thing on the bottom. And we snap the screen bezel back off and we put it to the side. Okay, next order of business is to remove the screen from the screen assembly and it's held down by four screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. So with the screen tilted back, we remove the four screws. And once again, we put them in a separate pile. Two and three. and four. Okay, now once we do that, we tilt the screen up a little bit, the screen assembly up a little bit, and gently lift up and tilt the screen forward and put it down. Okay, next order of business is to remove this connector. And it's held by some adhesive tape and what we want to do is use our hobby knife to lift up a corner of this adhesive tape and gently peel it off 
like so. Once we do that, next step is there's a metal bar that's holding the connection together and we use our hobby knife to lift up the metal bar and rotate it backward so we can remove the connector. Once the adhesive tape and the metal bar are lifted up, we gently slide the connector out and the screen is free. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector. To reconnect it, we slide the connector back in and put the metal bar down. When you slide the connector back in, you should feel, but not hear, two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connection. Pause the video right here. The, there should not be a seam in the gap between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Uh, basically, if you can put this metal bar down, the connection is good. So we remove the metal bar, and we remove the connector again and we take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen with a 30 pin connector. Uh, the best way to make sure you're getting the right screen is either to do an exact part number match M116NWR1 or make sure you have the right laptop model. Uh, you can also order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, and if you order from us, you don't have to worry about getting the exact part number match because we'll guarantee you we'll ship you the right screen. If you get the wrong one, we'll make it right for you. Also, if you order from us, you get this exact same toolkit that I use in this video for free with the screen so you can do the repair yourself. And we have a two-year warranty on our screens and we have free email technical support. Our screens ship for free in the continental United States using priority mail, so you'll get in two or three days. And if you live outside of the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the normal checkout procedure and select your country when you check out. Also, this is, like I said before, this laptop is mainly used for schools. Uh, we sell high volume of screens to schools around the United States and Canada. And we do offer volume discounts for this screen. So if you do, if you are working for a school district, please contact us and we can work with you on the screens. Okay, once you do receive the screen, reconnect the connector as I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the four screws, two on the bottom, screws, four screws, two on the bottom, two on the two on top, and two on the bottom, back in. Snap the screen assembly back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom of the screen assembly, and then the screw covers. And that's it. You should be finished. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrudkovich, and, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.